Family communication refers to the way verbal and nonverbal information is exchanged between family members. Communication involves the ability to pay attention to what others are thinking and feeling. In other words, an important part of communication is not just talking, but listening to what others have to say. Communication within the family is extremely important because it enables members to express their needs, wants, and concerns to each other. Open and honest communication creates an atmosphere that allows family members to express their differences as well as love and admiration for one another. There are four styles of communication. First, clear and direct communication. Clear and direct communication is the most healthy form of communication and occurs when the message is stated plainly and directly to the appropriate family member. Second, clear and indirect communication. In this second style of communication, the message is clear but it is not directly to the person for whom it is intended. Third, mass and direct communication. Mass and direct communication occurs when the content of the message is unclear but directly to the appropriate family member. And the last one, mass and indirect communication. Mass and indirect communication occurs when both the message and in intended recipients are unclear. Keys to Building Effective Family Communication Communicate frequently one of the most difficult challenges facing families today is finding time to spend together. With our busy schedules, it is difficult to find sufficient time to spend with one another in meaningful conversation. It is extremely important for families to make time to communicate, eat dinner together, have time for family worship, schedules, family meetings, and talk about important issues that affect your family. Communicate clearly and directly. Healthy families communicate their thoughts and feelings in a clear and direct manner. This is especially important when attempting to resolve problems that arise between family members. Be an active listener. An essential aspect of effective communication is listening to what others are saying. Being an active listener involves trying your best to understand the point of view of the other person. Whether you are listening to a spouse or a child, it is important to pay close attention to their verbal and nonverbal messages. As an active listener, you must acknowledge and respect the other person's perspective. Think about the person with whom you are communicating. Not all family members communicate in the same manner or at the same level. This is especially true to young children. When communicating with young children, it is important for adults to listen carefully to what the children are saying without making unwarranted assumptions. Pay attention to nonverbal messages. In addition to carefully listening to what is being said, effective communicators also pay close attention to the nonverbal behaviors of other family members. Be positive. While it is often necessary to address problems between family members or to deal with negative situations, effective communication is primarily positive. Marital and family researchers have discovered that unhappy family relationships are often the result of negative communication patterns. Communication is a key to successful family functioning. Researchers agree that clear, open, and frequent communication is a basic characteristic of a strong, healthy family. Families that communicate in healthy ways are more capable of problem-solving and tend to be more satisfied with their relationships.